Welcome to today's edition of Wikipedia. Today, we're going to be reviewing a book recommended by Phila Machiavelli on Instagram. The name of the book is The Richest Man in Babylon. <laughs> okay, so we'll jump right into it. In the introduction of this book by George Clarkson, he touched on the story of Arkad, a man who came from humble beginnings and grew wealthy over a series of very, very salient principles. We'll touch on all of them in a Cicapedia minute. All right, let's jump into it. Our first point is that the secret to wealth is to save and invest wisely. The secret to being wealthy is not to just hold all the money you have and be accumulating it. And it's also not to spend it all and acquire assets. It's somewhere in that balance in between. The next thing we really touched on in the book was admitting to knowing very little is actually wisdom. So you and I need to be able to realistically assess our knowledge base and seek for knowledge where there are gaps. You know all these get rich schemes, they're not the way to go to be wealthy. In the book he emphasized that a slow and gradual process through trial and error is the most assured way to get wealthy. He made mention of the fact that getting wealth is a long process and series of forward steps and ste setbacks. You try, you fail, you try again, but this time from a place of knowledge, avoiding all the mistakes you made in the past. You see, it's, it's really through a process of adaptation and learning that you gain the knowledge base to be able to accumulate wealth. The next important point I want to underline in this book and the principle that he emphasized was don't just work for things that you can afford today. Make long-term investments for the future. Making money in quotes is really working for money. Accumulating wealth is around letting your money work for you. Going back to the first principle around saving and investing, emphasizes this next one, which is making investments that get interest is very lucrative. So let your money work for you and then spend the baby interest. The next principle, many people think that luck, you know, constitutes random events that just fall into someone's lap. Hardly the case. Good luck really is an opportunity that is created by hard work. So the harder you work, the luckier you get. It was very interesting when I landed upon this particular point where it talked about working hard to spot opportunities. So you would not just wait for opportunities to come and knock on your door. You actually open your eyes to look for opportunities and then seize the day. Kappa DM. Finally, I think this point was very salient and that's why I'm going to emphasize it. He talked about, you know, making rational choices about our expenses. Is it important? Can it be delayed? Questions to ask. If you don't take anything from this book, take away this one point. A part of all you earn is yours to keep. Till next week. See you then.